Hi, kindergarten friends. This is the first story we're going to do today by Denise Fleming called This is the Nest that Robin Built. And this is another one of those Denise Flemings where I want you to listen for rhyming, alliteration, which is where the first letter is the same. And also notice if we're close up, because remember, Denise Fleming likes us to be close up to things. And also if it looks fuzzy and furry, like that pulp painting effect that she likes to do. Okay, so this is the nest that Robin built with a little help from her friends. This is the squirrel who trimmed the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the dog who brought the string long and strong that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the horse who shared his straw, rough and tough, that cover the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. Are you hearing some of that rhyming? Rough and tough, long and strong. I'm hearing some of those rhyming words. This is the pig who mixed the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the mouse who gathered the weeds dotted with seeds. Ooh, that's another good rhyming one. That bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. Are you noticing a lot of repeating? Yeah, this is called a cumulative story where we keep adding on and building on, almost like you build a house. This is the rabbit who picked the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plaster the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay in the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the, the weeds dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. Look at those beautiful blue bird eggs. Are you noticing that kind of soft, fuzzy effect, almost like that 3D effect of Denise Fleming? And lots of rhyming, right, and repeating. These are the nestlings, tuft and pink. Nestlings are babies, right? That cracked the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay in the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushion the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plaster the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. Look at those baby birds. And this is the Robin who built the nest. Ooh, and we have one of those surprise pages. I love it when we get surprise pages. This is the Robin who built the nest, anchored with twigs, not too big, wrapped in string, long and strong, covered with straw, rough and tough, Plastered with mud, soft, not soupy, bound with weeds, dotted with seeds, cushioned with grass, fresh and sweet. Who laid the eggs, brittle and blue, cracked by nestlings, tuft and pink. That's kind of fun. We always have to be kind of gentle with those pages, right, when we fold them back in. Now young fledglings, rumpled and ruffled, are ready to fly. Ooh, fledglings now are not brand new babies, but they're ready to fly. That means a bird that's ready to fly. Rumpled, ruffled, and ready. Ooh, that's that alliteration, kind of like a tongue twister that Denise Fleming likes to do. Good. Bye. So a lot of things in this book remind us of a lot of different Denise Fleming stories, don't they? It also reminds me a lot of the old British nursery rhyme called This is the House that Jack Built, which is, again, one of those cumulative stories where you're building on and you keep adding on and repeating. 
adding on and repeating. So it's kind of fun for our ears and fun to read along with that rhyming and alliteration. So stay tuned for the next story today. Thanks for joining me.